Hello friends, this video on reproduction in organisms part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. <coughs> Now let us talk about another important topic called embryogenesis. Now we understood that okay fine so the zygote is going to undergo some mitotic or meiotic division to form uh, the individual. But before the individual, a proper individual is formed, there is the early stage of the individual called embryo. So how is embryo formed from zygote? Let us have a quick look. So it is the development of embryo from zygote. So as I said, the zygote when it is formed initially, it is a diploid cell and it is just one single cell. But after that, it undergoes a lot of division. So what are the processes that uh, helps the zygote to grow from zygote, that is, which is a single cell, to an embryo? They are cell division and cell differentiation. So when I say cell division, that means one cell divides to form two cells. The two cells will form four cells that will form eight cells. So that is how the number of cells would increase by cell division. But only by increasing the number of cells, you cannot form an embryo. For example, in case of human beings, the zygote which is formed inside the female body that has to develop into a small baby, right? So a baby or a human being is just not aggregation of cells. So here we have different tissues performing different functions. We have different organs for specific functions. So you need to have cell differentiation as well. So first of all cell division has to occur so that you have lot of cells then cell differentiation will occur where a bunch of cells will group together and they will perform a specific function. So they will form a specific tissue which in turn will form a specific organ. For example, let us suppose a lot of cells have been formed inside the body. Now some of the cells aggregate together and they decide to perform a specific function. So they all form the tissues which make up the heart. Similarly, some other tissues join together and they make up the lungs and that is how all different organs are formed. So cell differentiation is equally important as cell division. So in cell differentiation, group of cells specialize to form tissues which in turn form organs. And as a result of these two processes, that is cell division and cell differentiation, the zygote gradually develops into an embryo. And this process is known as embryogenesis. So let us have a quick look at the human embryogenesis step by step. So this is how hum human embryogenesis take place. So let us start from day one. So this is the day one when fertilization takes place. That is the fusion between the uh, sperm and the egg takes place. So this is the zygote which is formed. So if you see, this is just one single cell. Now if you see, this orange color structure represent the zygote. Now if you see, in the day 2, the very next day, cell division has occurred and one cell has given rise to so many cells. Gradually, comp differentiation will happen where you see the color of the cells have changed. That means the red colored cells group together, yellow colored cells group together. So they are going to perform separate functions now. One has formed an inner layer of cell. And now if you gradually look ahead, you will see that a lot of new things develop from the same cells. You see number of cells are increasing, that is cell division is happening. At the same time cells are differentiating also. Here you see orange, red and yellow colored cells. All are three different cells. And then these three layers of cells will gradually develop into different organs. So if you see the ectoderm, the outside layer, there will be a mesoderm that is the middle layer and an enoderm which is the innermost layer. So there will be three layers and all these three layers will give rise to different parts of the body. So you see starting from here it reaches a stage where it is like this and then gradually it will form a complete baby. So here in this also if you see that this is the embryo, this red colored structure which you see in between and this is the digestive tract. So the digestive tract is already developed. So this is the digestive tract. So gradually this will form you the baby. So this is how human embryogenesis takes place. Now we will talk about how this exactly happens in when we speak about uh, human reproduction in detail. So right now I don't want to complicate things. You should just know the basics of um, sexual reproduction. Now based upon what kind of uh, organisms the animals give birth to? They are divided into two types, oviparous and viviparous. So what are oviparous animals? Those animals which 
lay eggs. So they do not give birth to their young ones directly. They lay eggs and then from inside the egg is protected their young ones which is hatched later. So zygote development occurs outside the body. So that means if you see it lays the eggs. So egg has a hard shell outside so that the inner content can be protected. And inside what is there? The zygote is there. Now that zygote will develop to form an embryo and the embryo will gradually develop to form a little uh, organism. So this entire development will take place inside the egg. And the egg is already released outside from the female body. So that means the zygote development is taking place outside the body and it is not taking place inside the body. So eggs are covered by calcareous shell. So this shell like structure acts as a protective covering. The other set of animals are called viviparous animals and they directly give birth to young ones. So there is no concept of egg or something. The young ones directly come out. That means the zygote development had occurred inside the female body. For example, human beings are the best example. So you see for nine months a female carries the baby inside her body and during these nine months the, the baby actually develops. I mean when the baby is born it is a small human being. So the zygote developed but that has also developed from a single cell that is zygote. So the entire zygote development has taken place inside the body. So young ones are hatched out after an incubation period. So that incubation period for human beings is normally nine months. Now let us talk about the development of zygote in case of plants. So in plants also the zygote divides repeatedly to form the embryo. As I said, repeated division to form the embryo. However, in plants we do not have different organs like heart, lungs, kidney or something like that. But then again, plants also have specialized tissues, right? The parenchyma, sclerenchyma, colenchyma, etc. So the, the cells divide at the same time they start differentiating to form specialized tissues. So what happens to other parts of the plant? Like once fertilization has taken place, what will happen to the other parts? Now normally the petals and the sepals, so these are, these are the sepals, these are the petals, the colored ones, right? So this entire structure is this, uh, the female uh, reproductive structure and these are the male reproductive structures, right? So after reproduction has taken, I mean after fusion or fertilization has taken place, these parts like petals and sepals, they all fall off. Now what happens to the female part, I mean the uh, ovary, the ovule, the zygote, okay. Now the zygote as I said it develops into embryo and then what happens is the ovule develops a thick coat and it forms the seed. So ovule turns into seed. So here if you see this was the ovule, the one which is present inside. So this turns into the seed. So this is the seed which is there inside. And you all know what is seed, right? When you eat apple or any fruit inside, you can see the seed. So that seed is nothing but the developed ovule. And after fertilization, the ovule becomes uh, like very hard and thick and that forms the seed. What happens to the ovary? The ovary ripens to form the fruit. So this was the ovary, this entire spherical structure was the ovary. So this ovary forms the fruit. So this portion becomes the fruit. And the fruit generally has a fleshy covering which is known as pericarp. So somewhere like this, if you see, this is the seed. So outside the seed, you have this one, which is the fruit. The fruit is actually nothing but the ovary. So ovary becomes the fruit. Uh, seed, uh, ovule becomes the seed and the zygote becomes the embryo. So where is the embryo? The embryo is enclosed even inside the seed. So if you actually look inside the seed, you will be able to see a structure like this. So inside the seed, you will have the cotyledons or the seed leaves and you will have a very small plumule which will later become the shoot. So this will gradually grow to form the shoot and you will also have a small radical which will later grow to form the root. So this is the embryo. 
So the structure which is enclosed inside the seed, that is the embryo. Now what happens? Normally you would have seen that for certain plants, you if you get the seed or you buy the seed from the market and then you put them in moist soil and a plant develops out of that. So how does that develop? Because inside the seed, so from outside the hard covering which you see, that is nothing but the seed coat. But inside you have the embryo, that is the plimule and the radical and also the seed leaves which provide them all the nutrition. As a result, the plimule develops into a big shoot and the radical develops into roots and that is how it gives rise to a plant. So this is how the germination takes place. That is development of a seedling from a seed. What happens when you put the seed in this, into the soil? So the inside whatever is there, the plimule and radical, they become active, they start growing and they gradually grow into a big plant. Again, when you have a big plant, you will have flowers. When you have flowers, reproduction will take place. Now, after fertilization has taken place, what will happen? Fruits will develop because after post fertilization, ovary becomes fruit. Inside the fruit, you will have seed, which is nothing but the ovule, which has turned into seed. And inside the seed, you have the embryo. So you take that seed and you, you can actually germinate it to form a new plant. So that is, this is how the zygote development takes place in a plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.